You see what this tray says? It says Lashway Boulevard. Who's Lashway Boulevard? Me. Wait a minute. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? Vlogmas is here. Trapping through the snow in a 2020 Chevy Rolex. Happy Vlogmas Day 1, y'all. We're kicking it off at the last two, y'all, of course. Duh. I know I look crazy right now, but we got a long day today. I got back-to-back -back clients today. It's just going to be very busy. So, of course, I'm recording it all for my Vlogmas Day 1. You know when you see this pink hoodie, we got work to do. When you see this pink hoodie... We about to get down. We about to zoom through these clients. Today I'm going to be very excited because I'm going to be testing one of my lash vendors. You see what this tray says? It says Lashway Boulevard. Who's Lashway Boulevard? Me. So, who's going to be coming out with lash trays? Me. Yeah. Yes. And I'm going to be taking y'all all along this journey of me testing vendors and um, just trying to make sure that everything is good quality. Y'all just going to see all of it behind the scenes. Me trying to get funding for my business, everything like that in between. So let's go. I hope y'all ready for this ride. I did rule this vendor out, but I'm not sure if they're going to be completely canceled because if I reach out to them and they could just give me a better finish, then they could be one of the top three vendors that I use. So yeah, because I really like the lashes. The lashes are very good quality. I like how they pull. Um, we just need to, we need to work on even all this right here. I don't like the font. Like it's just, it's not giving what it's supposed to give. I don't like it. I'm going to contact them today. That's why I got my laptop with me. Everything. I'm definitely all pinked out. Off topic, but how would y'all feel about me launching some hoodies like this? Like this color exactly with the very simple saying on them or whatever. Maybe on the back and just have the front blank because I don't want it to do too much. I want it to be very clean because I don't like things that are too much. You know, I think simple is best sometimes. And the color really does all the talking for it. Like I love this color so if y'all would be interested in ordering some hoodies from me, let me know in the comments. Because I'll definitely get working on that for real. For sure. But uh, yes, we're about to kick off this day in the life of a lash tech vlogmas style with the rest of my clients that I have coming in today. So stay tuned, y'all. You already know what to do. Subscribe to the Girl Boss Tribe if you haven't already. Also turn your post notifications on so that you don't miss a beat. Now let's get into the rest of this video. All right, so I'm just getting my paper ready for my next client that's about to come. And then I'm about to write a room. It's my workstation right here. Why does this look foggy? Please lock the door. So I just finished up my second client of the day using the last tray. And y'all, I really wish like they just 
didn't do such a terrible print job because these lashes are really good they pull excuse my stomach i'm hungry but these lashes pull really good oh my gosh like i just wish i'm gonna contact them and see if um it could just be better because they're really good lashes they pull very greatly they fan amazingly and they're super soft like they're perfect lashes it's just the freaking print job i'm just cleaning up my area though right now straighten it up a little bit because my next client comes i want to say in like 30 minutes i finished her a bit early because she wanted something super simple she likes her lashes natural and short and um those sets usually like i be zooming through them sets those sets are like easy for me so today is also an inventory day i have to um i mean not an inventory day a stocking day I have to order a lot of supplies that I'm running out of. I need more disposable paper. I need more dental bibs. I need more micro swap brushes. These. I need more cotton balls. Um, I need a lot of things. So I'm about to go to my desk in the front and order all that stuff off my laptop before my next client comes in because I have like a little bit of disposable paper left, which will probably last me the rest of the clients that I have today. And then after that, I'm out. So yes, I need to order me some more. My lash shampoo is stocked as you can see. Go ahead and buy this lash shampoo up off of me, y'all. If you need some lash shampoo for your clients, if you want some for yourself, Go ahead and order you some. It's going to come in pretty packaging, just like this. You're going to get a spoolie and a brush to clean your lashes with. And then the lash extension shampoo as well. So, yes, buy this all up off of me, y'all. Buy every single one that you see up on here. I think that's about 10. So, yes. And then I got my right here on my stand that I use when I give my clients my lash bath. So I already got mine. I don't need any of those up there. Those are for you all. Go ahead, buy them up, buy them up. So yeah, let's go to the desk real quick so that I can order this stuff before my next client gets in. How much more wrapping paper I got left? I don't even know if it's gonna last all my clients today, actually. Oh. I got enough for one more client. Wash your hands, wash your hands. I have a manifest journal. It's called um, Project 369. You write your manifestation three times in the morning, six times in the afternoon, nine times in the evening. I didn't do it this morning. Pink dental bibs. And then this is the dispos and then this is the disposable paper that I get for the lash bed to lay on top of the lash bed so that my clients can 
lay on top of there, adding that to my cart. I'm also going to be linking all this in the description box, so with a direct link so that you can just go directly here and purchase it. I'm going to buy some more lash brushes. I'm also going to buy these pink face masks. Dang, $92.59 already? What the heck? Definitely need me some Michael's lock brushes. Okay, so I took like four things out of my cart because I was not about to be paying a hundred dollars today. Okay, so I got me some Microsoft brushes here, some black dental bibs, the disposable paper, and I mean not black dental bibs, some black face masks, disposable paper, and the dental bibs. So total I'm gonna be spending fifty four sixty one today. Yes, ma'am. Hey y'all, I am completing a grant application to receive funding from my business. I'm doing this on usagrantapplications.org. If you don't know, a grant is um, money that you don't have to pay back. So unlike a loan where you have to pay, pay it back and sometimes includes interest, grants you don't have to pay them back. So I am applying for a grant because money to help elevate your business, shoot, kickstart your business, whatever to make your business flourish that you don't have to pay back is always great and i just wanted to put this on the vlog just to encourage anybody that um may have a business who may need funding or whatever to go online and research some grants because like it doesn't matter how much you make making so if you are making like millions and millions of course that's when you should be like the one giving back i guess or at least i will be giving back if i were making that much but you know i'm trying to get there and honestly free money is great who who, who want to turn down free money applying for grants is a great way to receive extra resources from your business even if it's already successful like me i've had my business for a while now but i ain't too proud to fill out a grant you know yeah i just want to come in here and say that definitely look into getting grants um if you have a business if you want to start a business if you feel like you're at a standstill in your business shoot if you're successful and you just want um extra resources or whatever you know look into this good morning y'all so i just finished my workout and now i'm drinking on my energizer tea from epic nutrition and it is infused with b vitamins it's also called the lit tea i get this not every time after i work out but like at least once or twice after i work out throughout the week just so that i can get my vitamins in different ways and it's really tasty too it tastes like pineapple mixed with orange I had to replace these types of drinks and protein shakes, more um, nutritional type of drinks with the coffee, the iced coffees that I was drinking because it's just healthier. And like, I don't want to be drinking them coffees all the time. As soon as this time of season comes around, it's like, oh, I want me some um, coffee from Starbucks. I want me an iced chai tea latte. I want me a, um, this or that or whatever and i'm kicking that habit well i did kick that habit and i've replaced it with um more healthier drinks you know and things like that so yes to have the optimal to have the most amount of energy and be able to show up every day for my businesses change your eating habits and sometimes it can be difficult it will take some discipline especially if you go cold turkey me i like to transition but um you know just stick to it and you'll see the results when you see the result or at least me when i start seeing the results that's when i'm like oh, okay yeah i'm kicking them bad habits to the curb anyway i'm about to go into this salon in like about 15 minutes this salon owner wants me to do lashes in there and eyebrows and whatnot so i'm about to see how it is um i'm only gonna be up there today for like about 45 minutes because i have appointments starting at two o'clock or is it 1 15 either 1 15 or 2 i gotta look at my schedule so I'll only be able to be up there for about like 45 minutes, just getting a feel to see if this is something that I want to do and just talking to her for a little bit before I actually have to leave and go tend to my clients for the day. I do want to get the experience in other salons 
and you know working with other people because I'm in a private suite so like pretty much it's just me and my clients and I manage my suite the way I, I want to manage my suite but you know as you elevate in business it's good to collaborate with other like-minded people or people especially that are further than you I'm about to go see what that's about in a little bit and then I'm going to continue on with the rest of the day. But I don't know if I'm going to cut this vlog right here. <clears throat> I think I actually am. Y'all have had enough so far. I'm going to cut this vlog right here. And then in the next Vlogmas Day 2 or Lash Miss Day 2, I'm going to call it. We're going to continue off where I left off here. So I'll probably talk a bit more about my experience in the salon, like how the 45 minutes that I that went with um, the lady and, you know, my thoughts, if I'm going to go through it, through with it or not. I don't know if I'll even have a decision by then. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. I'm so happy to be wrapping up day one of Vlogmas. Can't wait to put out day two. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to the Girl Boss Tribe. And I'll see you next time. Mwah.